did the street over here. Anyway, I am meeting up with Ethan out here. I'm not sure where he's at. He should be around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I kind of had an idea for a video today. Uh, the goal is to catch three different things. Maybe three different fish, but I don't know what the first one's going to be. Uh, basically, I'm doing a food chain challenge where I'm going to try to find something I can use as bait out here. Uh, like maybe a worm or a small fish like a guppy or a minnow or a uh, mosquito fish or something like that. Or even some kind of bug. That'll be the first thing to catch or find. And then a small bluegill. Catch one of those on that. And then use that bluegill or sunfish or whatever it is if it's small enough. And catch a bass or a catfish. So that's the goal is to work the way up to that. Unfortunately, anything around here that's going to eat a bluegill or something like that, I can't use as bait because it's technically illegal. So I'm not going to do that. So just that third level's the goal. Bass or a catfish. So see if I can do that. I'm going to look around. There's grasshoppers all over the place. Maybe I can use a bug. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, um, in the meantime, I'll probably be doing some regular fishing. Oh, there's Ethan right there. That might make a pretty good shot. You brought a sly rod. I should have brought mine too. Damn. Oh, yeah, let's get to it. This hook's a little bit too big. But I've got these tiny cheap Chinese hooks off of eBay that are really small. I actually use them to tie flies with. Come on, what's going on there? Perfect. These are number eights, it looks like. A whole bunch of guppies and stuff right there. I'm gonna see if I can scoop one up. I say guppies, they're probably mollies or, or mosquito fish even. You know what, I'm gonna go get a net. I'm not gonna be able to get them by hand. I used to be able to do that, but I'm not quick enough anymore. I don't know, I wasn't even stuck on the rock. Oh, I got one. There we go. The goal's for three fish. I got fish number one already. You got him? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> there we go. There's fish number one. I think my weight's a little bit too big, but oh well. Probably. I just had a bite. Oh, they pulled it off. <laughs> they pulled it off the hook already. I've got. Actually, I've got something that'll probably work. Let me let me tie that on. Not that it really matters with bluegill, they're going to keep stripping it off the hook anyway. But I know they're in there. This is a little trick you learn growing up on the south side. Nuts and washers, perfect weights. Oh, come on, man. Even with this tiny hook, I can't get one. I might run out of bait. <laughs> oh, that'll work. This one's a little bit big. 
Oh, and he dropped. <laughs> oh, let's see. This one might be a little big for these sunfish. I'm gonna have to cast. I'm gonna cast this one out a little bit farther. <laughs> I might just skip the whole sunfish step altogether and catch a bass right now. Got one. What is it? Okay, well, unfortunately, I guess I skipped the whole sunfish step. Got me a little guad. <laughs> So, well, I mean, that's sort of what I was trying to do was work my way up to a, a bass, but I thought it would take a little longer than that. <laughs> I still want to catch a sunfish, even though I, I've already skipped that step. <laughs> well, that's not a minnow. Caught a damn spider. Uh, well, I'm just catching them as I need them. Okay. Right now, I picked up two. For them? Huh? Have, like, a for them? Uh, I might have one in the truck. Oh, no. I think I had another bass go after it. <laughs> when I'm not trying to catch bass, that's all I catch. When I want to catch a bass, I can't get any. That's the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Got one. Oh, he came off. I thought I really had thought I had him there. But I still got my bait. But at least I still got my bait. <laughs> got one. Got him that time. There we go. Yeah, of course this one swallows the hook. Well, I was gonna use them as bait anyway, right? <laughs> okay, step two, this one's uh, red ear who's not going to survive. So, what's that? Good bait size? Yeah. I, especially, I think if we move down to that, uh, what's it called down there, that, str that spillway. All right. Must have flooded over here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because all of this was like clear and walkable. Yeah. Me and Greg had this, had a trail on the bank over here that was all cleared out and macheted and stuff. But I mean, at least we have somewhere to stand over here. It's not too bad. When, uh, when we had that other tournament at, uh, was it Park, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, I was running to try and get that last big bed. I stepped directly on something like this and I fell all the way in. <laughs> I was too. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was the end. <laughs> I did, I was like, this is it. This is fun. I'll never get to fish another tournament again. I'm trying to get it as far that way as I can, as close to the trees as I can. But, you know. Can you just aim all the way across that way, but at an angle, aim for the bank? Like that? Yeah. Over there? Yeah, I was thinking about it, but. I've been seeing a lot of activity over over around these trees here. Oh, like that, right there. Oh, nice. That was right out in front of you too. That wasn't even. It all the way up. <laughs> there we go. Little bitty quad. Is this another one? Yep. Oh, okay. 
feels good. Nice. This little chunk hooked in the bottom lip again. That's weird. Maybe. There we go. Oh, he's got a crawfish down in his gallet too. Yep. There we go. Another one. Yeah, better than that first one, but not as good as the second one. Yep. Well, this one didn't get hooked to the bottom lip. Got real, real close to the eye socket though, but he's good. At least he won't be blind. There we go, another one. What is that? What, that wasn't a bass. I don't know what the hell that was. That looked, it slipped off, but it, it looked like a pickerel. Seriously? Yeah. You know what? Maybe it was a little gar. It could have been. But, but it, it was long and skinny. The last time that I went to um, um, the Guadalupe River, yeah. I, could, I swear to God, I saw a chain pickerel on there. And I even asked, I went and I asked one of the, the park guys, should not be in here. I was like, I doubt it. And I was like, I've caught pickerel in North Carolina before. Uh, regular chain pickerel. Yeah. And that's exactly what it looked like. That that had to be a little gar. A little gar? It just it had to be a little gar. Because like I saw it when I threw out, I saw it move around over here, and then it darted towards it, and then carried it over towards the trees. Oh, okay. And oh, I missed something there. That maybe there's a little gar hanging out right there. Did just see something move over there? Let me try to. Damn it. Okay. It's only over one branch. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he slipped off. He whatever it was took it. Oh, it's hungry. He's trying to. Yeah. He, look at that. So he's up against the bank. And yeah, whenever you move spots, I'm gonna go with you. I just, I'm getting bites here. I want to see what it is because yeah, that that did not, not look like a bass. Yet. That did not look like a bass. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's something there swirling it. He's got it. Ah, oh, damn it, I pulled it out of his mouth. I bet you it was probably a gar I saw the tug of the pullback on the yeah. line too. Oh, he bit the tail off. Huh. It's got teeth, it's a gar. Yeah. It's gotta be a gar. Kind of sucks he bit the tail off. Uh, that's that's what gives it all its movement. So let's try it again. Come on, come back for it. Oh, oh, he blew up on it right yeah. under the tree there, but he didn't take it. That sounded like a gar. Did you get to see his face or no? No. It didn't sound like just the water. It sounded like a little bit of a jaw smack. I've never seen a gar so active, though, if that's what it is. Yeah. There's a fish. Got something. Feels pretty good. It's a bass. It's a nice little quad. I don't think this is what I was was tearing up my Senko over there, but I guess it's possible. I really doubt it though. Nice looking little quad though. I had a bite on the bluegill. Uh, something grabbed it and ran off that way with it. Didn't get the hook on him. Let's try it again. Something big swimming around right there. That might be a gar. 
I'm gonna throw this out in front of whatever that is. Wrong direction. Where is he? Okay. He turned. He's right there. What is that? Yeah, that's a gar. That's a gar. It's got to be what was blowing up in my bait earlier. Circling around it, He's circling around it. Come on. He's coming towards me. He's right there. I don't know if the camera can see that. It's a good size. Good size. I'm trying to make him follow it in. Maybe I can catch him. I lost him. I can't see him anymore. All right, well, Ethan left. He was going to go look for another spot, and I told him I'd be right behind him. That was like an hour ago. And, yeah. I don't know, he might have gone home already, I don't know. I just, I was getting bites, and then I saw that big gar, and all kinds of stuff going on. So I just haven't left yet. You know what? I am gonna go. I gotta go meet up with Ethan. Uh, so I didn't catch anything on the bluegill, at least not yet. Um, but, oh, look, there's a big wake swing right there. I gotta throw this back out. walking the trails out here and you wouldn't really think to have to keep an eye out for certain things but I just noticed something here if you look around right here these are all hog tracks so there's there's hogs out here wild boars those are big tracks too so it's not a little javelina but yeah so I guess if you're jogging the trail at night you need to keep an eye out I got one. First cast. Little bitty quad. Some nice patterns on him. <laughs> oh, I got one following it. Come on, take it. Take it. No, nah, I'm throwing the swim bait right now. I snapped off on the other one. I'm not sure if I have any more hooks. There we go. That was a better one. That one's half decent. Not a quad this time. Yep. I mean, it's not the biggest fish out there, but biggest one of the day so far. I'm actually getting bites. Hang on.
Oh. Oh no. I actually had a bite on the dead bluegill and I lost it. Something finally took it. All right, well, let me try to grab some of these minnows or something. There we go, got one. Another little quad. These fish have real nice colors on them. There's one. It's a little bit better. A little bit better than the last one. Not the best one of the day, but you know, I really do enjoy catching these fish. These quads, small as they are. And I think I'm getting a bite on my other line. Secure this and we'll find out. No, I guess not. Well, I'm gonna call that a day. I think I'm gonna fish a few more minutes with the uh, swim bait here and then. Then uh, I'll see you next time. So, thanks for watching. I got a fish. I didn't even know. It. And it was a little bitty bass, but slipped off. So, all right. Got one more. Now I'm going to go. Now I'm going to see you next time. Well, uh, didn't exactly work out the way I planned it. I wanted to use the net, catch a small like mosquito fish or guppy or molly, which I ended up doing. And then use that to catch a bluegill, which I ended up doing. And then I wanted to use the bluegill to catch something bigger, which I had a couple of bites, but I didn't land anything. Uh, now I did catch a bass on one of those, the mollies but um yeah that was about it everything else was on artificial uh, i did catch a couple of other sunfish and maybe a couple bass more bass on the uh, the mollies as well but yeah anyway it was a good day caught a couple of halfway sort of decent bass even if they were on artificials but it worked out so thanks for watching See you next time.